everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog. Now, I know it's been a minute. I'm out here. Well, actually, first of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you all have a wonderful 2023. Um, I'm out here in Melbourne, just at the top end, or actually bottom end of the Yarra rather, top end of Port Phillip Bay, around the boat hulls, jetties, some of the pontoons, um, dusting off some massive, massive cobwebs, both personally and in the kayak. It's been uh, it's been a minute, that's for sure. Um, now today I'm going to be targeting structure, so I've got uh, six rods rigged up, I've got a mus, a crab, a stick minnow, a bunch of other stuff. Um, spent a couple of hours probably this morning just fishing some flats and rock walls, um, a couple of boat hulls, and I just don't think the brim have either moved underneath those just yet, as that sun still hadn't come up properly. Um, and now I'm just targeting some of the bigger structures, single poles using active target and the GFAD pole, as well as the mass crab and a few other bits and pieces. So, um, all right, let's, uh, let's roll the footage from my first capture, and then I'll pull the hooks on another one shortly thereafter and uh, we'll keep plugging away. Hoping today's a good day. It's a bit blustery, so that's why I'm trying to get out of the wind, hide in and around some of these pontoons and larger piers and jetties. So stick with it and uh, stick with us. I'm very rusty on all things vlogging and fishing and the whole lot. But anyway, should be a good day and uh, let's get stuck into them again. Cheers, guys. Pinky or a brim, it's a nice brim. Alright, well, that was off that pole. Yeah, we are recording on the mus. On 10 pound litre. <laughs> This is a little black and orange mass. I'm sure you guys can see that with the sun. But uh, so again, just scope active targeting for these poles. I knew there was fish there. I haven't thrown really thrown the mass at them. I've thrown uh, the crab and the stick minnow prior to this, and. Uh, They'd go down, but none of them picked it up off the bottom while they were displaying those kind of signs that they were interested. But that was like first or second cast with a mus. Pick plucked it off the bottom, which is cool. We always know it's a uh, very, very good lure. Freak XH as well. Because we knew they'd be living there. That one was a little bit smaller than the previous fish. Right, so pull away a little bit and see if we can get one out of there.
hope and pray cast that one. It's a long way. Yep, and we got one. It's a little brim. But it was in an area where not many other people would have thrown, and so that's why I do it. And you got the heavy leader to get them out if you need to. But uh, not a big one. I was in somebody's slipway, but uh, there's another one. Or is that a plane? It's probably a plane. But uh, there's number three or four? Number four, I think. Dill and others asking about visibility. Uh, I don't know, about 50, 80 centimeters. Not too bad. Pretty good down the sand. Alrighty, now I'm going to take a quick moment to talk about the gear that I'm using today on today's trip. I've got two six foot rods. So I've got the Bass Freak XH, which has been my primary rod um, when I'm throwing the muscle. So that's a six foot, four to eight kilo stick running a 3000 Exist. This is the 2022 model. Uh, roughly 16 pound braid and 10 pound leaders and uh, also just putting a little bit of scent onto that muscle as well and that is my usual go-to the Procure bloody tuner now I've also got the medium version of the Bass Freak uh, with another small muscle limitation and got the crab and a stick minnow and a few other bits and pieces but so far this morning this has been doing all the damage for me getting those fish out Anything coming out of there? Oh, there's one. Yeah, there it is. There's, there's another one. Oh, gosh, bad cast. All right, that's another one on the pole. Second pole from me. There it goes. Is he going to turn? Is he going to turn? Yeah, he's turned. And he's spooked. Oh, oh. <laughs> came up and ate it. All right, that was cool. Alright, that one came up and ate it. I've got to be quiet in here now. Now that I know there's a couple shallow and uh, and they're eating. There he is, he's still in here. Oh, there's one come over. Yep. That's a big one. Six pound leader. That was a cool take. And he was just sitting there and came back. Oh, look at him coughing stuff up. And he's just eating mussels in there and all sorts of jazz. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. Take some photos of this guy. Oh yeah, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. 
good one. That's a good one. That's another good one on the crab. Ah, oh, pull dogs. <laughs> Woo -wee. And the reason I probably pulled those hooks is, uh, well, you guys can probably tell now. <laughs> I'll change it if I pull one more. That was a little bit lazy on my behalf, just because I'm fun fishing. I wouldn't put up with that in a tournament at all. There's a fish after my crab. There goes two. Yep. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, oh, come out. Shit. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I know which way that fish wanted to go. I saw it, I saw them go down for it on the live scope, and was, oh, on active target, on the live technology. And um, there was a couple of them. I don't know if this line's rubbed, that's why this, this drag's now so light. I don't know if that line rubbed on the side of the pier. Foti and others will be thrilled to hear my drag actually work as I uh, normally go a little bit heavier on these things, as you guys would know. I don't want to lose it and my crab right at the last minute of the fight. But with that net job, I might just do that. Nice. Another good one. Giddy up. Washboard worked. And I'm loving the active target for this kind of stuff now that I'm getting the hang of it. And with active target two on the way, it's just going to be even better in terms of clarity and definition but that was cool i saw fish going down for it i waited 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 bang i might just grab a photo of this guy it's a cool shot got both uh, claws in the mouth and then i'll let it go room to play with under this one as opposed to a lot of the other ones that I've just tried. Don't know if I'll, I'll probably cut most of that footage out anyway. So I've tried a whole bunch of these. The, the bites changed um, with the with the tide change. I think the bite is also changing. I've seen a few but I'm spooking more than I was earlier today. That's what makes me think the bite has changed a little but we'll see in here how we go. Uh, might be a bit better in here. It's always been a pretty productive pier. Um, I'm seeing a lot of fish on the sounder, so hopefully we can have a bit of fun and probably just close the day out in here. So 
I think that was probably why that happened. Number two in two casts. Alrighty guys, that's it. Wrapping up this one. Uh, nice simple vlog. Nothing too fancy today, no fancy editing, just good wholesome fishing hopefully. See how the footage turns out. Had a really good day. Got a chance, as I said, to uh, blow out those you know, cobwebs. Uh, make sure everything's working correctly. Uh, kayak, sounder, active target. Uh, really enjoyed using that today. Got to see those fish going down and, and eating. Um, and got to adjust my technique as well. So that was really good. Um, yeah, as I said, no fancy editing today, no B-roll, none of that stuff, just hopefully some good wholesome fishing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I know I certainly did. It was, you know, it's what I love to do. Love to fish structure, love to fish heavy. Uh, won most battles, lost a couple, but uh, that's all good fun. All right, that's it for this one, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.